Hello, everybody. Today, we're going into the beta version of the new Lion Desk system. As you may have noticed, we have updated our platform, and we're going to be rolling out new features throughout the release. In this video, we're going to cover transaction management, which you can locate on the left by clicking on this icon. This is going to be a big update from our V1 system. If you use our older version, you notice that our deals and properties page were separate. If you uploaded something in properties, you would also have to upload it in deals. In the V2 system, the process is going to be simplified. When you set up a transaction, you will only upload that information once. So going into the transaction page, you're going to see that it's separated into three different tabs. So you'll see dashboard, pipelines, and then plans. The dashboard will give you an overview of the pipelines that you have created. So at the moment, we're going to see purchase, listing for sale, listing for lease, lease, and then real estate others. This will allow you to track the sales and potential commission for the different types of real estate deals that you have going on. Going within each pipeline, so for purchase, uh, for example, you're going to see how many deals we have within that pipeline. You're also going to see the sales and commission of that deal. By clicking on this downward arrow, you'll be able to gather more information about that deal. So which stage it's in at the moment, you'll see under contract and the sales and commission of that deal. By clicking on view items, it's going to open up to that pipeline page where you're going to be able to see that uh, deal with more information. We're going to keep within the dashboard page and continue. So right below, we're going to see transaction table. So the transaction table is going to show you all the transactions that you have at the moment. So right now it's showing us the transaction name, the address, the type, the stage that transaction is in, the sale value, as well as the commission value. By clicking on this icon to the right, you'll be able to change the stage, start a campaign, delete a transaction, or edit that transaction. To create a new transaction, you can do so by clicking the blue button above. And to first set up the new transaction, you want to give it a title, select the type, and also the stage that it's in. So for the title, I'll put first sale. For the type, I'm going to select purchase. For the stage, I'm going to select pre-offer. When you click on next, it's going to move on into the property info. So you're just going to fill out the information. You'll see country, street number, street name, and then unit number. Five hundred Cannon Street. Unit number 10. If you would like to add more property information, you can do so by clicking on view more options below. When you're done, click on next. And it's going to move on to the key contract dates. Uh, these are going to be important for the property plans. You will be able to set up automated task reminders based off of these key dates. So you'll be able to set up the start date, closing date, inspection date, and offer date. If you wanted to add more options, you can click on the view more options below. I'm going to select the start date as today. Closing dates, to say a month from now. Inspection date a week later. And then offer date the next day. Once you set up all the dates, you're going to select next. And it's going to move on to the financials. Uh, so importantly, you do want to set up the purchase slash sale price and then the commission percentage. If you wanted to add more information, you can, clicking on that view more options below. For the purchase date, I'll put in a million. Commission percentage, three. Once you're done, click on next. And then you're going to fill out the contract information. You're going to see transaction number, class, type, referral percentage, and if you wanted to, you can add more information by clicking on the view more options below. Moving on and clicking on next, you're going to see contacts. So this is going to be another update from our V1 system. 
in the old version, you would only be able to assign one contact per property. In our V2 system, you'll be able to add multiple contacts. Simply start typing in the name of your contacts. Go lion dust test one. And we'll add a couple more to it. Not only are you able to add multiple contacts, you're also able to assign the role within this transaction. So by clicking on this downward arrow, you'll see the different uh, roles that they can take. So you'll see admin, buyer, buyer's attorney, buyer's agent. Scrolling down, you'll see loan officer, loan processor, and then seller and so on. So simply assign the roles of the transaction. And once you're done, click on next. It's gonna give you the option to set up another transaction or click finish and exit. So at the moment, we're gonna click on finish and exit. Now that we set up that transaction, it's gonna take us back to the dashboard and you'll see it added within the purchase pipeline as well as in our transaction table. By clicking on the name of that transaction, It's gonna open it up and show me all of the information that I uploaded. So the first DAO, when it was created on, what uh, type as well as which stage it's in. It's gonna show me the associated contacts I uploaded. To show me the transaction plans. At the moment we have none available, but we're gonna go ahead and add one next. You're also gonna be able to scroll down below and select property info, key contract dates, as well as the financials. If you wanted to add a transaction plan, simply scroll to the top. You're gonna to see in the upper right-hand corner, start plan. We have one in place at the moment, but we're actually gonna create a new one from scratch. So to set up a plan, you're gonna see in the third tab, plans. We're gonna create a new one. So we're gonna click on this blue button to create a new plan. First thing it's gonna ask us is for the title name. So in this example, close in 30 days. It's gonna ask me to select which type of transaction. So this would only be applicable for purchase, listing for sale, listing for lease, lease or real estate other. I want it to only be applicable for purchase and then click on add an action. Once you add an action, you'll select tasks. You'll select, uh, set up the instructions to that task. Schedule home inspection. Once you're done writing the instructions, click on next. It's gonna ask you to select the due date. So you can select the due date on, before, or after certain key contract dates. So if I click on key contract dates, I'll see the different options I have available, start date, closing date, inspection date, and so on. So I'm gonna go ahead and select start dates. In this task, I wanted to do after and set up how many days after. Once you're done setting up the timing, you'll click on next. And then you'll select the assignee. If this is gonna be an individual account, uh, it's gonna always default to yourself. But if you are part of a team, you will be able to assign this task to other people within your team. You would be able to click on this drop down arrow and click on anybody that's within your team. Once you're done with the assignee, you will click on create. And it's gonna create that new uh, plan for us. So you're gonna see close in 30 days. If you wanted to continue building that plan, click on the name and you'll be able to continue adding more actions. We're gonna pause there, go into the dashboard and then assign that plan to one of our uh, transactions. So we're gonna click on first sale and then start the plan that we just created. Close in 30 days. Now that we started that plan, we can scroll to the bottom and it's gonna update the transaction plan task below. So 
So now you'll see the due date, the assignee, as well as the task itself. At the moment, you'll see that it's incomplete. Once you finish that, finish that uh, task, you will click on this check mark and it will remove it from the plan. So going back to dashboard, we're gonna move next to the pipelines. So again, the dashboard will only give you the highlights of each pipeline. If you wanted to have more information listed, click on that second tab, pipelines. It's gonna ask you first which pipeline you wanna look into. So by clicking on this drop down menu, you can select between purchase, listing for sale, listing for lease, lease or real estate other. So I'm gonna select purchase. If I look into the pipeline, it's gonna show me the different stages, pre-offer, under contract and so on. So this will show me which transaction is within each page, as well as the sales and commission. You will be able to set up a new transaction within this uh, pipeline. And if you wanted to edit the pipeline, you can. You can set up a new stage. So when you click on new stage, you can decide between in the pipeline or out of the pipeline. So once it's in the sales cycle or once it's out of the sales cycle. So I'm gonna select in the pipeline and I'm gonna set up a new stage, initial consultation. Now that we've created this stage, we can add uh, new transactions into the initial consultation stage. By clicking on this dropdown, again, we can look into other pipelines and do similar tasks, add a new transaction or set up a new stage within that pipeline. So that covers transaction management. Uh, this will be tied into our marketing insights and we're gonna show that in the video uh, next. Thank you for joining us today.